Okay, so the action to make every employee stop taking public transactions because I was standing peacefully recording the back office, way in the back, waiting for Tim to come out. That's when the people started threatening to beat me up, started yelling at me to uh, stop recording them, started disparaging my character when I wasn't speaking to any of them. You, how did I get involved with them? Why did they approach me that way? Okay, so you wasn't talking to some of the other customers. You didn't tell a lady to leave me alone. My this, again, this is after. You didn't do none of that. Was that before or after you decided to make everyone stop working? That was after. It was after. So they were mad after, that they couldn't get their transactions. Disrupted business. So the, were the people mad they couldn't get their business done, right? The people were mad because you disrupted business. So I control the Pasco County Tax Collector's Office. I didn't know I had this authority. Is that what you're saying? You don't have no authority. You were disrupting the business. Okay. Did I stop anyone from working? You stopped the business by not adhering to our policy. And that's the, your, your default is the whole 150 people in here will not get service because John is peacefully standing next to the gatekeeper waiting to make a 30 second transaction with Timothy Coet. Is that what you're going with here? No. Nope. First of all, John, if that's your name, was not standing peacefully. You were disrupting the business, so you had no interaction with the customers. It was after you guys denied them tr the transaction. I didn't deny them any transaction. <coughs> Did I speak to anyone before that? I don't know. Okay. Do you know what a heckler's veto is? A what? Heckler's veto. The relevance is that there was no problem with me. There was no problem with me staying there peacefully recording up until the moment they decided to make everyone stop serving about 150 people in there. Before that, it was perfectly peaceful. Nobody was saying a word to me. And what they did is incite a heckler's veto, like, get out of here. You can make, you can make that order when, when it's that time. OK. Just, just ask many questions. OK. So again, before no one came to you before you guys made everyone stop working and say I was disruptive, nothing like that. It only happened afterwards. I was threatened to get my ass kicked. I was being disparaged by another lady, and then another foreign lady kept saying she had the right not to be recorded. That's it. Is that right? Is that correct? I want to repeat that. Before you guys decided to quit working for the public, did anyone come up to you and say anything about me? No, because the sheriff was already on the way. Okay, so nobody. Now, when the tax collector's office decided to cease serving the public in a very busy DMV, and who told them that it's our fault? We didn't tell nobody. So why were they all attacking me then? Because you were the person who called the disruption. They can see. Standing they still, see. standing I still. Was not standing still. I was not standing still. Was I dancing? No, you were reading the magazine. I was reading, okay, I was doing this, correct? I was reading your flyers in there that are there for the yeah. public. Correct. So I was in there. And talking to who? Talk to my camera. You were talking to the customers? No, sir. Yes, sir. No. Mr. Wright, I think this whole line of questioning has gone a bit far. The, the question before this tribunal is whether or not he violated the policy. So spending 30 minutes arguing the, the strength of the policy or the implementation of the policy or whether or not they don't like the policy, frankly, none of it's really relevant to this hearing. I understand the gold are relaxed and you have some leeway, but it's really, it's, I think it's getting too far. Uh, this is all for the credibility of the witness. It shows for one photographer, he's okay with him. For another, he's making up things that I'm disrupting, which I've never done. The people came at me after they decided to uh, cease and desist serving the public, blaming us. I literally was standing there next to the gatekeeper, re recording, waiting for a 30 second transaction with this gentleman right here. All you had to do was take our papers and we would have left. Instead, he decided to flex and turn it all into this. So I guess I don't have any more questions for you. I, I hope I've established that I mean, you walk credibility. You questions on any, anything new that he hasn't testified to. And we'll agree with the, the county that we've kind of gone over the same exact you know, scenario multiple times. Right, because I don't believe he's being honest and I want to answer, ask questions in a different form to make him admit the truth of what happened that day. 
And I want to reiterate that there's no evidence when I do have evidence. I'm done with him. No, sir. Mr. Hunter, that, that day on the May 31st, you did have customers who expressed their, their frustration uh, with, with the appellant's actions. Yes, sir. That they were disturbed by his actions. Yes, sir. Okay. I also, I want to ask you a question about the video that was presented to the hearing officer. I don't know if you, you heard it from where you were sitting, but it involved a different individual on a different day. And mm -hmm. I think your quote, to an extent, was taken out of context. What I heard on the video was, I don't mind you recording, just don't record the lady. Your kids. That was, that was your complaint. Because the there was a customer that was disturbed by that person yes. recording. So as long as he was sitting in the back not bothering anyone, or sitting in his chair not bothering anyone, you had no problem with it. Correct. No further questions. May I follow up on that? Sure. You've been limited to those questions he just asked. So. Or the subjects. Right. Before you guys quit working for the public, no one said anything to you, is that correct? You've testified that already. That I was being disrupted, blocking any way, blocking any seats, interrupting anybody, interrupting any transactions. No one said anything to you up until the point when you decided to start stop serving the public. Is that correct? Again, when I walked in, you were already in place to share what's already called. So nobody was That's complaining not. because the whole operation was stopped already. So what are you talking about? Before you guys stopped working, did anyone come up to you and say I was being disruptive, blocking any ways, blocking any seats, stopping any transactions? No. No. Oh, every interaction with any customer, any disruption you're claiming right now, was only after you guys stopped working and told them the reason they can't get their work done is because him and I are in there recording. Is that correct? We did not tell them they can't get the transaction done because you're recording. They can see you were disrupting their uh, business. So no, we did not tell the customers we cannot serve it because this gentleman is here. Why did you tell them? I said we didn't tell them that. Why did you tell them the reason they couldn't get their business done that day? We just tell them to have a seat. The gentleman here is recording. So you did tell them I was recording? We want to have, we want to protect your, uh, your documents. So you did tell them I was recording and that's why they can't get served? We told them to have, uh, have a seat. You just and testified the that you told them I was re recording. And the gentleman's recording. Mm -hmm. How is that relevant to the people need to know that? Well, we t let the people know that we're going to protect your documents. So this guy got a camera, so we're just going to see things right now to this guy's been recording. Did that incite people to threaten to kick my ass? Nope. That didn't incite them. How would they know it was because of me if you didn't tell them? You stopped talking to the customers. How did they know that you didn't stop working I because of me? It's speculation of what other customers were thinking. What they all were, you know, I'm done. At this time, the county would bulge the Previously been sworn? Yes, sir. Can you please state your name? My name is Harrison Flynn. And Mr. Flynn, where are you employed? I'm employed at the Pasco County Tax Office Office in Michael Lakes. And what is your position in the Lane Lakes Tax Collector's Office? <clears throat> I'm a customer service supervisor. And what does that mean? Uh, essentially, middle management. I am just in control of the staff. Okay. You kind of oversee the, the staff that's out on the floor in that location? Correct. You set policy for the tax collector's office? No, sir. Um, drawing your attention to May 30th of this year, did you have an incident that involved individuals recording in your office? Correct. And had your office had an issue with video recording prior to that day? Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, and in the past, had it been an issue to the extent where it, it disrupted your business, disrupted your customers, and you had to shut the office down? Yes. Um, and is it fair to say that the tax collector's office uh, deals with 
uh, sensitive uh, information on a regular basis. Yes, sir. Okay, so on that day, uh, May 31st, I want you, or May 30th, I want you to describe to the hearing officer uh, what your uh, personal observations were. Yes, so uh, the two gentlemen, the one representing here and the gentleman behind him, uh, came into the office with their equipment and tripod and set up, as uh, Mr. Hunter described, uh, right in correlation with the gatekeeper right in the walkway. Um, the gatekeeper herself, the clerk, contacted me and said that they were here um, and that they were asking to speak to uh, Mr. Tim. So then I went in the back to try to find Tim to see if he was present. He was not present. He was out on lunch at that time. Um, so that at that point, I had called him to let him know that I had the individuals here to see him. Um, he pretty much told me to kind of stand by for the time being, that he'd be there shortly to decide how we proceed. Um, we did have customers in the office kind of a little upset that he was there recording. Um, we were trying to just mitigate the situations as much as possible. And then we got to go ahead and go ahead and just cease business operations until they either decided to leave and call law enforcement right away. We gave them a chance to just kind of resolve their business and leave. Um, when that started to escalate with customers being upset, cursing, trying to kind of instigate whatever it may be, that's when the call law enforcement. And uh, going back to, I mean, you observed, you said that you observed video camera tripod, and did it appear to you that he was recording? Correct, yes. And uh, did you later actually confirm that the appellant had uh, recorded within your office? Correct, yes. How did you confirm that? Uh, by his postings on YouTube, that was really to me. Okay, you saw recordings from within your office from that day? Correct, yes, sir. Um, so, needless to say, testified customers were upset. Um, did having to shut down the office as a result, did that disrupt the business operations for the day? Correct, yes. Other than the event you testified to this morning, do you have any further involvement in this case? No, sir. No, no further questions from the panel. I'm sorry, sir. What did you say your name was? Harrison Flynn. Harrison Flynn? Yes, sir. And what do you do at the tax collector's office, sir? I'm a supervisor. What does that mean? Who do you control? The staff. All the staff? All of the staff, uh, regular clerks, frontline clerks, correct. The clerks, the frontline clerks, the, the ladies who we go and handle our title exchanges, our driver's license renewals, correct? You're in charge of all of them? Correct. And how do you know me? From your interaction coming into the office, that is about it. When you say in the office, which office was I in? Vanda Lakes. The whole building is an office? Pardon? Is the whole building an office? I don't understand the direct correlation to the Was I in somebody's personal office? Not a personal office, no. Where was I standing? In front of the gatekeeper. To the is side. that a public lobby? I suppose so, yes. Is the general public allowed to be in that lobby? Yes. As long as they don't disrupt anybody. Get in anybody's way, right? Correct. Curse, bother people, right? Mm -hmm. Just standing there peacefully is not a disruption, is it? No. But would that be cause to make everyone stop working? Correct. It would be? No, like if you were not disruptive, it would not be cause. And the disruption is specifically what? That I was standing next to the gatekeeper where she told us, right? You were in front of the gatekeeper, next to the gatekeeper with your camera. Right. Gatekeeper here, we're off to the left, me, mm -hmm. Anthony, this gentleman, right in front of me, correct? Correct. Camera pointing straight that way, not at any customer, not at any clerk, is that right? Correct. Not at any paperwork, correct? Correct. Right. Well, paperwork that I don't know if it's visible at the time of the camera or not. Right. Was there, how many cameras were above my head? I'm unaware. More than one? Yes. Were that, are those my cameras? Those are ours. And what are your cameras used for? That I'm not aware of, did not. You don't, the view. you don't know what your cameras are used for? Who does view those cameras, that footage? Our IT department. IT? Correct. And what do they do with that footage? <laughs> Keep it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Is that, my head. is that footage public record? I'm not aware. Did you make the decision to make everyone stop working? In accordance with our policy, yes. In accordance with your policy, since I was being disruptive, you made every clerk in there stop serving 
probably over 100 people, right? We roughly had 30 people in the lobby at that time. And what was the reason given to those people? I'm not entirely sure it wasn't part of that interaction. Okay. Did you ob observe me being disruptive? Yes. Was I in anybody's way? Yes. Whose way was I in? Customers. You had a customer tell you I was in their way? Yep. Do you have a affidavit? Do you have any video? Do you have any audio? No, sir. Do you know the person's name? No, sir. Did you get a statement from them? No, sir. So again, it's just you in here saying someone, someone, you don't know who they are, no evidence, told you I was in their way. Did anyone ask me to move from there and take a seat? I'm not aware. It was not me. It was not you. I don't remember you at all, so I'm trying to understand where you're coming up with this. So again, I wasn't pointing at any paperwork, right? No clerk. I was pointing straight back. We were there for a 60-second transaction. And you decided to make everyone stop working because a random person with no evidence told you I was in their way. No, because you were not in accordance with the policy. Which policy is that? Armed reporting policy. Or okay. is, that the, is that the Driver Protection Privacy Act that's written on the front door? No, sir. That's a different policy? Correct. Who created the policy you're currently talking about? Our directors. Your directors? Correct. Okay, now I have, I have another video, Mr. Kouet saying that these were run by lawyers and paralegals and I have also the open record here where that's all a lie from a public records request. Okay. <coughs> so can you make a policy that says no black people? No, I'm not in that position to make any policies within my office or know who makes them. If, you had, if a, your directors wrote a policy and it said no black people, would you follow that policy? Jack, can I answer this question? I agree. Relevance is you can't discriminate against the color of skin or civil rights. It's the First Amendment, free press. We're there to objectively document our government in the course of their duties. And their policy says we can't. If you can't discriminate against someone for their skin color, or if they're wearing a cross, or if they're speaking normally and not being disrupted, well, how does uh, video recording free press get an uh, exception to civil rights? You cannot hear constitutional arguments? I do not make decisions on the Constitution. But you can still hear them, right? And they can still be entered into the record? Sure. Okay. The, so my record. question is relevant. What was the question again? If your directors wrote a policy saying no pregnant women are allowed in here, would you enforce that policy? Would you make everybody stop working if a pregnant woman walked in? It's on paper. Your directors wrote it. It's on the wall. Or on the website. Now, what are you doing in that situation? I don't think that relates to the disruption of the office in the way that you're asking me. But you're saying disruption by me standing still and recording, not any clerks, not getting in anyone's way, except this random person you said. Excuse me, are you saying that or did, you were saying he testified? He testified that I wasn't recording any paperwork, any clerks, any anything. Plus, they have 30 cameras recording us. So, Again, your directors wrote this video recording policy. Have you heard of free press? Yes. Do I have the right to free press? I'm not in any position to answer that. So you don't know if I have a right to free press in a public lobby of a government building? I think for a legal conclusion. I would agree you're asking for a legal conclusion. Okay, so let me gather my thoughts here. You told everyone to stop working. I relayed the message to the office manager who is there, yes. Is that when I was threatened to have my ass kicked? I do not know. You don't know about any of the interactions with the customers except the person you said you don't know who they are? I do you know the interaction? I just do not know in which sequence that it occurred to you, correct? Do you know that a person threatened to kick my ass and throw my camera out the window? I do recall a customer threatened to get rid of your equipment, yes. Right. Do you, do you remember a foreign lady saying, I have the right not to be recorded in public? That I'm not aware of, no, sir. Do you have you were the instead of the lady, there's only three people or four people I talked to, and the one gentleman with the baby, he was fine. Did you hear the interaction of the lady disparaging me? Like, who are you? Who are you to be in here? Who are you to be doing this? No, well, look how you're dressed. My interaction with you mainly regarded you addressing my clerks, asking them for their names, and asking them policy questions at the front counters. Now, is that disrupting to ask questions? 
in the instance of when you were disrupting the office and we had to cease, and I just had to clerk stop and in interacting with you. When you say you had to cease, it's because? Of our policy. Policy written by directors. As far as Will you concerned. follow any policy written by them? As long as it pertains to my job. Oh. How does me uh, peacefully recording pertain to your job? Because you're violating our policy. And your policy was written by directors, right? Correct. Will you enforce any policy your directors write? Objection, I agree, and I've already ruled this. Okay, can, a, can you discriminate against somebody wearing a cross? No. How about uh, Star David? Objection, relevance. Relevance is that's one of the five things in the First Amendment. Speech, press, religion, redress, assembly, things I was engaged in. You're asking questions about hypothetical scenarios. Hypothetical, okay. Would you respect all the rights of the First Amendment to the general public? To my knowledge. You would. Our policy is not that you cannot record, it's that you have to have prior approval before entering the office to Pro record. So we have to have prior approval from who? That is listed in our policy. I do not recall what individual that is. It might be our one of our directors, Greg Giordano. So, in order for me to engage in free press, I need permission to engage in free press. Is that what you're testifying? Objection calls for a legal conclusion. I'll overrule. Overrule? Can you re-ask it? I'm sorry. You believe in the elements of the First Amendment, you believe you exercise your job in accordance with the First Amendment and people's civil rights, correct? That was the question. I, I'm just trying to get back to where I was. Can you re refresh me by chance? <clears throat> you were asking them about um, the policy. All right. So the policy says no recording, but... Free approval. All right, free press. Is it a free press if I have to ask government's permission to exercise free press in a government building? Is my still free in the free part? I don't know the answer. <coughs> but you say you will fulfill your job according to the Bill of Rights and the civil rights of people, right? You won't discriminate against anybody. I did not answer that. I've already, I've already sustained questions to that. Do I have the right to record in public? I would assume I'm not. You're assuming I have the right to record in public. Is the DMV office a public place? We are a Pasco County Tax Office office and we are a public entity, yes. You are a public entity. Is there a public lobby where the general public can enter? Yes. Is this a sign that was there that day when I came in? I'm unaware if that sign was present at that time. Point or not. Is this sign still present on the board? I believe it has changed, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not Can I explain to you what this is? Yeah. It's a, it, there's a duplicate copy that the county is going to introduce. This is a duplicate copy, actually. I just want to see if you actually. So, so this is, you know. You just said this is a public place, right? Public lobby, general public can come in. As far as my knowledge. The first thing you see on the door is you are now entering a private area. So right off the bat, the sign is illegitimate. No photography, video, audio recording per the Driver Protection Privacy Act. And we can get into that later. Uh, does the Driver Protection Privacy Act uh, pertain to recording in public? So just to be clear, only one imaginary person who, you don't know their name, you don't have any affidavit, you don't have any other ID, you don't have any statement from them, told you I was blocking them. Correct. Did anyone tell me I was blocking anybody in that case? The security, the team lead, did anybody tell me I was blocking and I need to get out of somebody's way? He was not present in the office at the time, so I don't know. Did anybody tell me I was blocking someone and I needed to be out of their way? You were set up directly in front of the office, or in front of the gatekeeper. Did anybody complain to you or anybody else that I was blocking their way or disrupting them in any way? I don't recall. Okay. But I am allowed to be there. It is a public place. My understanding. So the issue is strictly that I'm engaged in free press. Objection, uh, mischaracterization. So the issue is exactly that I'm recording in public. Causing a disruption while doing it, so yes. Where's the disruption part again? 
You told me no one said anything to you except some imaginary guy. So if you believe that one person is imaginary, you believe that's nobody then? Well, I have no reason to believe otherwise because I have a t lots of documents with contradicting statements from your office. I guess I'm trying to understand the difference between what I say and you say there's an attorney. Because I have video and documentation. You have nothing but your words. Okay. And I'm assuming you're biased towards your bosses yeah, and the yeah, people you I'm work not, for. I'm, not gonna, I'm just, okay. I, I guess I'm done with this guy then. So, 
in general, the, the policy it prohibits video rec 